Control. You think I would have played this game by now, but I didn't think I owned it. However, I just opened up the Epic Launcher for the first time in like one year, and it turns out I have this game. What the? Oh, she's got a Mario jump. She does the Mario pose and everything. Look. Ha hoo! Ha ha! Can you beat control with one half A press? Vending machine, here we go. Oh, it's like a real minimalist vending machine. It's like a Cards Against Humanity vending machine. Can you knock down the sign? You can. And it folds up when it falls. Where has this game been all my life? The Bay of Pigs Mason. We know about Cuba. What happened with Castro Mason? Don't you hate it when you're gaming really late at night and you can see your reflection in the screen? This game's okay, but it'd be better if it had like video essay chapter titles in it. I think there we go. It's much better. When people say control is a brutal game, they're not referring to the violence. They're referring to the brutalist architecture that dominates the landscape. Can she jump shoot? Oh, she can jump shoot. People think Control is some kind of psychological thriller, but it actually controls a game about getting 360 nose scopes. Off the table. Huh. Oh, I missed. Here we go. Ooh, from the top of Rust. Finish him with the melee punch. And now it's time for the next section of my Dead Space video essay. In the game Dead Space, the first letters of every chapter title spell out the truth behind the Nicole mystery. Uh, great. I knew I shouldn't have got a P.O. box all the way on the top floor. Well, here goes nothing. This P.O. box was two dollars cheaper than the other one. Now I know why. No, blue guy. Oh, <laughs> somebody threw the container at blue guy. Poor blue guy. Don't worry, blue guy. I'll avenge you. Who did that? With my new powers. Now I throw the red modules. Come here, bad guy. You're garbage. Sorry, bad guy. Looks like your fire's about to be extinguished. Oh, hey, no, you don't have to stand. I can get you a stool. Here you go. Take a load off. Have a seat. Time to take out the recycling. This is great. I love throwing random crap. Give me that floppy disk. I want to play Peasant's Quest. Hello there, monkey. How goes the typewriting? It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. You stupid monkey. Here is my proposition for how we can create the greatest game ever made by combining elements of Hotline Miami with the puzzle chambers of Zelda. I call it... They can fly now. <laughs> yes! Did Star Wars copy They Fly Now from Control? Jabrams played Control and he's like, oh, they fly now, that's genius. That'll be the number one joke in my movie. Will the American flag wave when I jump into it? No, it's a solid object. Boo! Give me simulated cloth physics or give me death. Oh, they got the dead space in this game? Okay, well in dead space, you just give them one of these and they die. That's it, I'm shooting you from far away. I don't care if I use up all my plasma cutter ammo, I'm not getting near that thing. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communication. They were wrong. Oh, the screen doesn't shatter. Hang on, what if I throw a bench at it? The bench will break it, right? Nope. That's a strong screen. I finally met my match. Bulletproof computer screen. You win this round, Control. What is the famous quote from Abraham Lincoln? For who among us? Oh, dude, things went bad for Video Doctor. He's disheveled now. His top button is unbuttoned. He's losing it. Here we have the... Oh. The brain fell down like dominoes, whoops. I know we can solve the problem of all of our employees floating around in a zombified trance if we just put our brain to it. My brain just can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. Those we things, yes. Firepower. Those things are my favorite bad guys. Back in the ancient times, to appease the gods of the harvest, some ancient civilizations killed people on a sacrificial altar by cutting them in half. This practice was known as the foreboding stone opens very slowly for a foreboding stone. I guess you can't be foreboding if it opens fast. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. <laughs> they named my the brother P. Here. there he is, there's P6. You can tell he's a test subject because he's bald. Finally, my lost brother Dylan. Hello, Dylan. You're important to the story, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's probably not evil. Baby, baby, baby. That song's not that bad. People give it a bad rap. Most disliked video on YouTube. Come on, he didn't deserve that. Has anybody seen Jesse Control? I don't know where she went. It's like she just kind of disappeared like a ghost. Oh, is there a ghost behind those curtains? No, it was just me, Jesse Control. Scared you though, didn't I? Here's a streamer room in the 100 Thieves Gamer Compound. What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Jesse, back with more Control content. If you're enjoying the video, be sure to mash, like, and subscribe, and ring that bell. In the last episode of Control, we didn't know where to go because everything is a square hallway. And in this episode, I'm still lost but at least the square hallways look real nice. Dude, I love these FBI guys. They got a looping video of elevator door closing on dead body. How'd they know that's my favorite video? When Logan Paul launched his new Prime line of beverages, he allowed influencers from across the globe to sign up to help him promote it. People would submit their channels or Instagram accounts or TikTok accounts to Logan Paul, and his team would review them and see if they qualified for a Prime sponsorship. This initiative was known as, what is this? I certainly stumbled onto something here. Everyone has different brains. Is this the Poppy Playtime movie? What is this? 
Look at the ray tracing in this game. It can stand in front of the projector and it renders it in real time. That's good. You're not going to see that on PS3. This is actually how I watch all my movies. If you're watching a movie on your phone, you're not getting the full intended experience. You have to pick up a projector and carry it around your basement and shine it at the concrete wall. That's how Dune is meant to be appreciated. At last, the red house. That's what I've been searching for the whole game, I think. This is where I used to live. In this very house right here. I used to be a lot shorter. Where's a button to activate the cool battle in the fake town? I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. You picked the wrong place to fight me, bad guys. This is my home turf. I'm gonna throw so many Playmobil cars at your head. Floating around hip firing is pretty fun. They really gotta make a Boba Fett game. Why is there no Boba Fett game yet? Like, favor, subscribe if you want me to play Star Wars Bounty Hunter. That game has Zam Wessel lore. Navigate the ashtray maze to reach dimensional. Whoa, whoa. Let's go. Huh. Electric guitars sound cool when paired with gun gameplay? I never would have guessed. I was enjoying the ambient sounds of the concrete hallway, but I do like Doom just a little bit more. Glad they added some Doom in this game. This song's okay, but I can think of a better one. And turn the music off. No more music. Ugh, is it just me or have CAPTCHAs gotten a lot more annoying recently? Click all images with a red cube. Yeah, I am. I did click all the red cubes. Let me in. You made a pretty good game remedy, but I got two words for you that are going to take this combat to the next level. Active reload from Gears of War. If the pistol in this game had active reload, the combat would be 300% times better. Because all you do right now is you just throw stuff at guys until your throw runs out. Then you shoot until your gun runs out. But if you could active reload the pistol, it would give you something to to do while the pistol is recharging instead of doing nothing. At the beginning of the game, it was like, here's how I use the upgrade system. And I was like, I'm going to be honest, game. I don't really care. That's my fault for not engaging with the systems of the game, but the menu just looks boring. It looks like going to the DMV. That's what this menu looks like. And then Control got turned into Red Goo, the end. I think she got possessed by the Lovecraftian entity. Oh, well. Narrative lead. Leave your insides by the door. Good job, leave your insides by the door. You did a good job on the storyline. I understood it completely. Is it a fake credit? Oh, it's a fake credit, isn't it? Mm. That's why there was no music. If there's no music, that's how you know they're fake. So now I have no gun and I have to check the notice board for tasks, just like Among Us. Here we go. Tidy up the coffee cups, can do. Finally, some good gameplay. Delivered, delivered. Ooh, I'm really good at this. Delivered, delivered. Look at the efficiency. This gameplay is more my speed. Who needs active reload when you have copy your gameplay? Dylan, don't do it. Don't kill me, Dylan. Oh no, Dylan killed me. Is she dead? No, we're still here. Is this just a test of how much office labor will the average gamer tolerate? You're just in this forever. The only way to win is to turn off the game. So I looked at your work history. It says here you played the control after credit section for an hour before you realized what you're supposed to do. So looks like you're exactly what we're looking for in an employee. So welcome aboard. Now about those TPS reports. Yeah, kill that guy instead. That guy sucks. Oh, the bad guy First, killed the good guy the then projector. the good guy became bad and let the bad guy win and that's why the bad guy's at the desk so now i gotta go pantomime the borderlands cover art now it makes sense what level was that guy level 30 they were level six last time was i guess the intention is like look how much stronger you are now now you can fight level 30 guy is that why they had levels the whole game is for this like player empowerment moment none can stand before my ultimate power even though the bad guys are level 30 now for some reason i still kill them in like two hits what is the point of the level number above the bad guy's heads in this game? We may never know, because we didn't read the dialogue box that explained it. Okay, bad guy, we've been playing this virtual boy level for like three hours now. I have to take a break. My eyes can't take it anymore. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. This is for making me use a copier machine. Okay, there's the real credits. Control review. Control's got good graphics, good sound. Story made no sense, but it was supposed to make no sense. That's what they were going for. The best part of the game is the vibe got a great vibe. The worst part of the game is the map. For a game that takes place in a 10th dimensional space, you think the map would at least be three dimensional. That map sucks.